First of all, I just want to ask you about the process of adapting your own graphic novel. Um, I think I understand at first the rights were with Disney and then they wanted something slightly um, lower rated and then they event. How did you sort of end up here in this incarnation? Disney uh, bought the idea first and um, as I started to develop it, write the screenplay, uh, realized that there are some elements in the movie that don't quite fit inside mm -hmm. the Disney brand. Uh, and Disney saw that as well and were very uh, kind of let me take it to another studio to kind of make it in the way it kind of needed to be made. Did, did you have certain ideas in mind uh, first when, when writing the graphic novel and later when casting in terms of who you wanted to play, you know, Jack? Well, I knew with a, an original story um, I needed to have a, a big movie star yeah. kind of at the center of the film. Um, I also kn knew I needed a fantastic actor to carry this film from the first scene to the last. Uh, and I got both with Tom Cruise. I mean, yeah, he's a huge movie star, but he's also just an incredible actor. Uh, during the audition, um, I saw what a great actor he is, which of, co of course we know because we see movies with him, but it's a different thing when you work uh, sure, yeah. uh, just opposite the person, and the real person is right there. Uh, the way they approach the takes, the way, you know, the energy on set. And um, already in, during the audition, he was, he was just so there. He doesn't do things um, half, you know, yeah. or 50 percent, you know. And uh, he, he's a very generous partner. He gives a lot to, um, to the other actors. And, um, and that's a very important thing. And he's just great to have around. And so obviously post-apocalyptic kind of Earth and post-apocalyptic futures, we've seen a lot. What are the kind of important defining elements of this particular one? Well, I wanted it to be a daylight science fiction film, which we haven't seen yeah. many of these uh, since the you know 60s and 70s. Uh, you know, ever since kind of Alien, which is one of my all-time favorites, science fiction kind of went into the darkness for for a while and I wanted to bring it out into the daylight so we shot on location in Iceland in the middle of the summer where the sun never sets uh, you know Jack's house the sky tower is set 3,000 feet above the ground up in the clouds um, so it's a it's a different color palette than than we're used to seeing in you know post-apocalyptic movies and I know Joseph had a lot of influences I mean when obviously this graphic novel and then with the film with from sort of I think 1970s sci-fi and lots of things did he speak to you much about sort of like any films you could watch to get the sense the tone or yeah actually funny enough um, the, the the movies that he suggested for me to watch mm -hmm. um, were romantic, old romantic uh, movies because uh, my character was involved in romance. My character is romantic in this movie. Uh, for once, I don't, I mean, you know, I don't want to give too much away. I'm involved in lots of cool uh, action scenes, but um, I'm also involved in romance and that was important. And they wanted to make this romance like old school. I kind of go back to the old Twilight Zone TV show, yeah. um, which I loved as a kid, you know, those little 30-minute stories which had a, a small cast of characters and a limited budget, but the ideas uh, were always felt so much bigger than that, and, and that's kind of where I think the, the story came from, was a desire to create a, a character-driven story or character-driven film with big ideas uh, that, you know, I think good science fiction always asks, can ask big questions about, you know, why we're here, what makes us who we are, um, and uh, so, you know, that was the, that was the desire. Oblivion deals a lot uh, with memory. There's a big theme going on and uh, what people remember, what they don't, and why, and why that happened, mm -hmm. and whether we should actually believe everything we were told or, or actually try to think with our own head and discover the truth. Mm -hmm.